now in this particular session we are going to look at a step by step process on how do we add this kind of particle effect on the website now this is an interesting effect that uh, is kind of driving a lot of attention to this particular website i keep on getting questions from my visitors on how do we add this kind of particle effect or in fact there are users who are keep on asking what is this effect at all so this is not a very new technology that is there in the market it's it's, it's a javascript library i'll be introducing you to this and a step by step process on how do we add it on the website now if you look at how it works the moment you click on the screen at any area of the screen the number of particles keeps on multiplying with every click i'm i'm able to add more and more particles to this screen and as i'm moving my mouse as per the tool tip there is a radius there is an area there is a circular area that is getting cleared off from this particles the particles are repulsing away from the tool tip of my mouse so as i'm moving my mouse and reading through the content this area is getting cleared off and i'm able to clearly read the content on this page so this is how it is working this particular effect is get giving us a gamified in, in immersive interactive way uh, to kind of uh engage with this particular content on the website and at the same time it's kind of encouraging the users to play around and and uh, just have a look at how these particles are kind of playing around the, with the mouse movement now this is a particular effect i'll quickly show you how to add this on the website in this particular session we are not going to use any plugin or any hard hard coded uh, stuff to add this particle now this is a javascript library if you just go to google and search for particles javascript you'll be getting a list of results like this now this is the uh, original release by vincent now this publication this release uh, is where you'll be getting uh, full fledged access to this particles javascript library now once you open up this uh, page over here you'll get something like this where this is the default uh, layout the default view of the particles javascript library now this is something where um, you can also customize how it looks like so if you look at the right hand section over here this area allows you to select the effect the particle that you are going to show in your page in this case it's default the, the the particle is primarily a circular dot over here in case you click on nasa you'll be getting a different particle over here in case you click on bubble in case you click on snow you'll be getting different uh, particles over there now you need to be a little careful with this website this page kind of uh, throws up this kind of loading errors every now and then but yeah it works fine uh, you just have to take out the code from here and you don't have a dependency on this page as such you just have to take out the code so let's say this is the this is the default one just click on this one and also check out snow then bubble cat nasa all of these effects you can also have a quick check now you can do a quick customization of the way these particles are appearing on your page for example under particles you'll get an option for number color shape size opacity so you can clearly change uh, the number of uh, particles so let's say here there are there are 85 uh, so let's say it's 100 as default i can just increase the number of particles so more you increase uh, higher is the density or you can also increase the density of the particles this way so this is how you can control uh, how it would look like so play around with this number section so that you can uh, play around so, so that you can come up with your own uh, layout own uh, structure then you have this color option where you can change the color from white to any other color right now it's triple f so it is the white color in case you want to change it to some other color you can just have to you just have to change it from here so let's say i want a sky color i can just simply go for a sky or, or a bright uh, teal color over here then the shape you can change it from uh, circular to any other color uh, any other shape out there let's say triangular polygonal whatever shape you want you can just choose it from here based on your likes but then you also have an option uh, to change the strokes the polygons you can play around with this particular uh, section uh, the the outlook or the design of this particles then you have this interactivity section where you can control what happens on click what happens on hover what happens whenever you are moving the mouse on the screen so that's where you uh, kind of create this effect ripples grab or or, or so so if you look look at this grab option over here the moment i move my mouse the tooltip is kind of attracting or grabbing all the particles into one place and if you look at the ripples over here the tooltip is kind of moving the particles away from the mouse now this is uh, interactivity you can also keep it check on this so just make sure that you are playing around with all of these functions and coming up with your own particle effect now once you're satisfied with your particle effect the next step would be to click on this code pen option over here now code pen is the area where you would be getting the code access so this is how the code would look like it has a, it has a it has an html component a css component and obviously the javascript component now let me just change the setup like this so that we can have a better look at how it is right now so if you're satisfied with this particular effect what you need to do is just simply copy the javascript from here and 
HTML CSS I'll show you I'll give you a quick uh, code that you can use so this is what I'm gonna introduce to you right now uh, this is a simple HTML uh, setup simple CSS page setup so we have added the CSS ID over here then along with the CSS ID I have just added the width height position of this particular screen and then also the quick library references and now what i'm going to do is just add i'll just add the javascript code over here so this is my javascript code just copy this javascript code from here so this is what you need to copy from here just copy the full javascript code go back uh, to your notepad and just simply add the javascript now, now you must be very careful about the fact that you need to paste the javascript code in between this script uh, that you have added so the opening script and the closing script make sure that your javascript code is added in between this two uh, snippets of uh, script opening and script closing now once you've added the javascript code over there this is your overall code that you need to kind of copy and add it to your website now let us move back to the website and see how it can be added to the website's backend so i'll just move and move into my element uh, editing panel so whichever page you would like to edit just go visit that page now let's say in this particular page this is the element editing section and this is the page layout now in this page let's say i would like to kind of add the particle effect in this area or whichever area you would like to add it you just have to choose that particular section so let's say this is the section that i'm going to add it so what i'm going to do is the first step is to add an html snippet so html just search for this code insertion option now this html element would help you to kind of add this code in the in this in this particular section of the web page now you can just drag and drop it anywhere so let's say for the sake of sake of uh, keeping it a clean and uh, structured uh, se section by section uh, way for me to understand I have just added the code over here at the, at the last of this section you can pretty much add this code anywhere in this section so I just add dragged and added this uh, this HTML widget over here now the HTML code that I have just created or copied from uh, code pen so to say this code I have just added it over here now this is the code that is already added for the particles now if you look at the css id of this particular section it's particles dash js so just copy this uh, particles dot js as the as a css id go back uh, to this section you want this to appear in this whole section so click on this uh, edit section uh, icon over there in the elementor editing pa panel now once you click on this area this this uh, edit section you will be able to see the edit section panel is opened up in the left hand side now over here go to advanced and under advanced you have the css id where you can add this particles dash js now once you add this your particles will start showing up in your area now and hit update now once you update it go back to your site and just refresh the page you'll be able to see the changes happening on your page so you can now see the changes live on your page layout and that's how you quickly add uh, a particle effect on your web page without much of a plugin or hard coding here and there so this was a quick step-by-step -step process it will, it will hardly take you five minutes to do this now replicate this process and add these particles in whichever section you would like to add it so let's say right now i would like to add this in the bottom section over here i can simply select this section and add it over there as well so it's pretty simple you can add this uh, particle effect anywhere you'd like to in your overall web page in case you are using a custom coded website and not an elementor based website or you are using dv page builders breezy page builders any other page builder in that case the process is pretty simple and similar you just have to add one html code section out there simply just add the html widget to your site and once you add the html widget to any section of the page you can pretty much add the code over there that's it and don't forget to refer the css id on the advanced tab of this section so the section advanced and then css id this is very important without this reference this section won't be able to display the particle effect that is very important for you to remember that the css id needs to be referred over here now this same thing can also be done using some plugins now essential add-ons is one of those plugins which is uh, this feature uh, plugins but there is a premium feature but uh, i would suggest not to go for any plugin for particles if you go to wordpress plugin library and search for particles effect you'll get a lot of plugins out there which is helping you to kind of add this kind of effects on your web page but you don't need to add any additional plugin because more plugins you add slower is your website so it's better not to use any additional plugin for this uh, for this uh, particular effect you can pretty much add a code on your website and add the particular effect on your web page so yeah that was a quick easy step-by-step -step process on how to add particles on your website if you have any doubts any questions on this please feel free to drop it in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out over there have a great day bye bye thank you so much